Hey guys, we're outside the thing in the wooded hollow and we're about to go in here and get ourselves some access to the next world because we're moving right along. We finished freaking Witchy World, even though we still have one more jiggy dig in Witchy World, but that will be no problem when the time comes. In fact, that one's real easy. We just have to wait a little bit longer before we can go back and get it. Uh, but when we get it, we will be getting it all in one video because, you know, it doesn't really take that long. Actually, it could be a series of shut up. Don't give him too many spoilers. Anyway, here we got another puzzle to open our way to the next world, as we tend to do. We like opening ways to the new world, because if we open new ways to the new worlds, to the new... Christopher Columbus would be, would be very proud of us. Before he started massacring Indians who aren't really Indians. Anyway. Damn Christopher Columbus. Thinking he was in India. Why is this about Christopher Columbus all of a sudden? This is no time for a history lesson. They're here to watch an anthropomorphic bear talk to his regal that he keeps in his backpack that can make both of them fly, even though the bird shouldn't be able to carry the bear's weight. And I'm doing chores for a giant god with the head of a jigsaw piece to save my dead anthropomorphic beaver friend from certain destruction who is already destroyed. And also to save the undead king of the dinglings. Which sounds like an ad for Viagra. And then to stop a uh, reanimated undead witch who has two talking giant bitch sisters who did something related to bitch. Jiggy Laser! What's the Jiggy Laser going to do now? Is it gonna smash things with its jigginess? Three. Two, one, get jiggy! Bam! And the door politely opens for us. Let's just mosey on it! Yeah! You are indeed the chosen one. You have enough to complete the Great One's Challenge 5. I'm so great. Right, well, we're not going to be doing that because, you know, we got other stuff to do because we're sort of the hero of the game. And I want to go to each world first before we open up worlds that are after worlds that we haven't even gone to yet. So if I open those two worlds, we haven't even gone to the one we just opened. So there'd really be no point in doing any of that. So we shan't be doing it. But first, let's go see Honeybee. Honeybee! Run! Dun! And Anyway, that's enough of that. Enough of that. That's quite enough of that. Anyway, we have enough honey for two more live energies, Big Bear. Throw them over there. Sure, honey. Honey comes over here then, Big Bear. Vagina power! Alright. And then, we will move on, get ready to go to the next world. And it's gonna be awesome, because I love this world! Okay. Um, whoa. Alright. So I found out, right after the part that just cut out there, or after I had done this, that, um, my computer was now crashed. So my computer crashed. And after fixing with it and rebooting it and all that crap, I found out that it just, just missed enough to where it didn't catch this. So really all I did was I went over here, next to this corner, which is right next to where... You know, you come up the ramp, and you're over there, you want to turn to your le right, and you come over here, and you'll find these split-up pads, use them, and then stand both Banjo and Kazooie on these switches up here. There's there's swap clouds and stuff, you can just switch on the switches, and it'll open this door. And this door... Where did this door lead? Well, I'm just thankful it didn't cut out during something really important, because it could have, and that would have been not so... That would have made me not so happy. Um... Hold up. So I'm over here. I want to get before I talk to Jam Jars. Derp, derp, 
derp, derp, derp, derp. That'd be a really awful place to put one of those biting things. If they put one right there, people would just die. Unless they knew it was there and could see it, but I couldn't see an angle from which it might put one. Well, they could put one really close, but then you... I mean, if they put one there, you really wouldn't be able to see it. That'd just be awful. It would destroy you! Bite, fall, die. Ugh. So, that was that was interesting, that, that whole experience. I was like, oh crap, my computer is not gonna... Hopefully it got that, because I haven't saved in a long while, and I don't want to redo everything. I haven't resaved since I went to Witchy World the first time. Freezing cold, but that's the price for launching eggs of solid ice. For launching eggs of solid ice. There we go. So we got 50 silver eggs. We got 50 ice eggs. That'll be all. Dismissed. Bitch. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. So ice eggs are the new egg we get here. And they're very interesting. I, in fact, like them a lot. There's Mumbo. We can't do anything with Mumbo yet. There's actually a Jinjo here, too, but we can't get that yet. Hey, look. Footprints. What the hell is that for? Don't ask me. I'm just playing the game. I don't know anything about this game. Okay. So there we have that. Let me show you what Ice Eggs can do. It can freeze them in place. It's really cool. And they also have multiple other uses, and you will get to see them a lot in this level. I think it's a lot. I don't know, you get to see a lot of grenade eggs again, too. Grenade eggs are by far the most widely used eggs in the game. This is just like, let's give them the ability to throw bombs. Okay, here we go. Oh, Jolly Rogers Lagoon. This is most people's favorite level, and I can really see why. And you'll see why, too. And there's a lot of hidden rare type jokes in this level, and you'll get to see that, too. I will point that out, because that's just it, it's hilarious to me. Oh, well. First things first, though. You know this nice, nice centerpiece that they have here? Well, we're going to leave it alone for now. Just let it be a centerpiece for a while. And go around and collect your look, coins. This is a doubloon! They are only currency, the only currency accepted in Jolly Roger's Lagoon. Doubloons in the Lagoon, huh? Sounds like a really bad... Sounds like a B-movie. A terrible B-movie. B-movies are generally terrible. There's doubloons in the water. And now we can use our fancy swimming shit to get these coins. Turn, 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 turn. The wheels on the bus go, turn, turn. Oh! How can you swim in that, Banjo? Look at that sludge. Ugh. Please fix the pool. Piggles pushed me in the other week, and look what's happened to my arm. Well, I didn't want to say anything, but... Thanks, I'm a little touchy about it, as you might expect. Freak, freako. So did he. He grew an extra arm. Ah, ah. I don't know. Three arms could be useful, although they'd get in the way and you couldn't really wear clothes unless they were really specially made. Like, imagine that. Imagine I'm wearing a t-shirt right now. Gryffindor t-shirt that I got while I was in London because Gryffindor is best house. But, um, anyway. So, imagine just this shirt having to have an extra arm right under the other arm. It would look really odd for a while. And just to be the guy who had to walk down the street with a third arm, not even a fourth arm, you just get to have the one side of your body that now has two arms on it. That'd just be unfortunate. And if anybody out there does have to deal with that, forget it, punk. You won't be needing to learn this one. Just flea girl there. Oh, okay. So, apparently we have to split up to get that move. <sighs> what does it mean? Well, it means we have to split up to get that move. Duh. Now, um... 
Wait, what is this? Wave racer for hire. We're not gonna do that right now. Now, we need to go... See this fancy, fancy monument? Such a beautiful sculpture. Just look at it. Just look at it. Just look at it. Now it's gone! And we destroyed their great monument, just so we could split up, because they apparently decided that putting split-up pads under their monument was a great idea, because one day, a bear that carried around a red bird in his backpack would come to collect all of their golden puzzle pieces and use their money. That sounds... logical. Wait a minute. Something I want to do first. Around the town, there are these little things that look like this. Trilber! No. Okay. And they could be taken down with the drill bill. And for the most part, they have doubloons in them. And why are we collecting these doubloons? Well, the doubloons are going to be useful, so don't worry about that. They will be used, and they are helpful. So, yeah. More shock spring pads. Nice that they actually managed to fully incorporate all the stuff from the old game in this game. The only thing that doesn't get much use is invincibility, but that didn't get that much use in Banjo Kazooie. So, I will not fault them for that. So now, really, we're just going to want to be Kazooie for a while. Because Kazooie is really helpful here. And, like Jam Jar has said, there's a move she can learn. Did we start to get moves for Kazooie? Yes! Instead of having no moves for Kazooie, which was terrible. You've lost the safety the banjo brings. Defend yourself now with your wings. Wheel them around and person be useful attack. I think you'll agree. Okay, because we now has five health, which... God damn it, gem jars. You'd think after all this time, you'd know when to time your jump. So, because we can now do this. Which is handy. The wing whack. Really, it'll just let us fight, though. It doesn't let us do much else. And I think I'm going to use Kazooie because she can jump higher with the shock spring. That's that's probably the best part about Kazooie, is she's a lot lighter and can do Kazooie things much better than Banjo could do with her. Um... Ow! Okay. Come on, Kazooie, don't leave me in this world alone. Okay, we can't go in there as Kazooie. But, we can go over here. A bunch of balloons! Doubloons? Balloons? Doubloons. Ow! Fuck. Okay. And over here... I can go in here by myself. Oh, that's right. The pipe goes to another world. That's why. Okay. Notes! <gasps> Captain Blubber! Sorry, but I'll only speak to Banjo. Wow. Don't hate. So much hate. Why is there so much hate? Ah, I guess they had to balance that somehow. Let's go talk to Ben, Blubber. Uh, hopefully he'll have something useful for us. Because really we've found nothing useful since we've been here. <laughs> oh, hey there. It'd be your old shipmate, Captain Blubber. How are you going, me mateys? Aye, these adventures are all the same. So many places to go and things to find. Beats standing around, though. How's business, Blubber Guts? Not good, land lovers. All me wave crashers are shipwrecked, and the last one was eaten by a fish yesterday. Perhaps we can lend you a doubloon or two. 
No, oh, shipmates, but I will sell you me last possession for just one doubloon. How about it, me hearties? You want me last possession for one doubloon? Aye, that's a good one. Have a look inside this box. Right, okay. <laughs> Whoa! Alright. So, since we're in here, the shock spring pad, which I actually forgot about. Um, uh, okay. Jinjo! Jinjo! Now I have two green Jinjos. Which is more than one green Jinjo. Okay, so there's a big hole in there, but we do not want to go down there yet. There's still a lot of stuff we can do above land. Above water. Above sea level. Thank you. That's what I want to say. Okay, so let's go into the pipe now. Actually, let's go... Yeah, okay, we want to... We want to take the shock spring pad up to the top of this thing. And get on this shock spring pad. Nice pad. And then... Yeah. Kill all the bitey things. I don't know what they're called. I don't know what they're called. So they will henceforth be known as bitey things. Die. And then... Oh, I have to tack on about four minutes to this part, okay. Probably gonna end this soon. Okay, so we got that. I didn't want to do that. Okay, let's go down here. Hmm, where is this? Didn't give us a world name, but I don't think we're in Jolly Roger's Lagoon anymore. Which is one thing I do, I do like that about this game, is everything is connected. It's really cool. So let's hit that. What will that do? Toxic Waste Disposal. Ooh. Oh, good. Okay, so we've stopped the pipe dumping sludge. Thanks, giant teddy bear. Now our water is crystal clear. Doesn't it still have residue in it? Sure, it isn't dumping stuff in there anymore. Is that a ginger I hear before me? No, it's a freaking Minjo. Stupid Minjos. Minjos are usually out in the open, obvious. Because, you know, they couldn't make it easy to find Jinjos. And back in the pipe we go. I'm not even sure if we can jump back up through that. Okay. Okay, so, in the next part, we will explore the rest of town and maybe even see what's below the surface. See you then.